All right guys, we are back and today's video is probably not gonna be a long one. Um, a, because the car still doesn't start, but update time, we did get the Mishimoto aluminum radiator and we got our silicone hoses in. We ordered these from Z1 Motorsports. Uh, they came in super quick. We're still waiting on the GK Tech fan. Now the fan on my car is actually still operable, but let's take a look at why I ordered a brand new fan. So. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see in here, but if you look close, my fan has a ton of stress and heat fractures in it. So we went ahead and ordered a brand new GK Tech fan with the adapter, but today um, we are going to be installing the Attain KSP carbon fiber bumper shroud. Um, so I was going to just 3M tape this on, but the more I look at it, the more we're gonna have to rivet this in just to keep it safe. Uh, kind of like the Fujimura, which I'll show you guys. Let me grab my stuff here. <clears throat> so, with the Fujimura wing, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I had to put bolts on the bottom of it here so it doesn't come flying off, which the last thing we want is our carbon fiber wing. The last thing we want is our carbon fiber wing to come flying off the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get this mocked up. I need to go ahead and mark on here where we're going to actually be putting the rivets and then we will go ahead and get started. So let's do that. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do on this is just kind of mark out where I want to put each rivet. We are gonna 3M tape it, so it did come with 3M tape. Um, so we are going to 3M tape it, and we'll, probably what we'll do is we'll 3M tape the back after we've actually put our holes in the carbon fiber piece, and it will sit something like that. Um, and this, the reason that I got this is because I have the Tomai, and the Tomai sits fast farther than this veil side that I have on here. Now this veil side, I'm probably going to end up keeping and polishing up and just keeping it as like a fun nostalgia kind of piece. But this, uh, I wanted to rivet it in and 3M it so I know that it's on there nice and tight. So we're gonna go ahead and mock this up and see where we're gonna put the rivets. I'm thinking probably four across the top here. So one, two, three, four, and then one, one on the lip piece here. And then we'll probably do one on each bottom portion underneath as well. So we've got our drill and I've got my Sharpie and we are actually going to use uh, 3 16 aluminum rivets and we've got our rivet gun. So let's go ahead and get this mocked up and uh, see how we're gonna do it. I ordered this from Right Hand Drive Japan. It actually came pretty quick and it came with supplied 3M tape. So we'll go ahead and load up the back of this just to get it. And I've already cleaned this surface here. So you wanna make sure you clean the surface that way the 3M sticks. Now obviously the 3M is not the only thing that's gonna be holding it in. So we just wanna make sure that we get enough on here and make sure that we're not in our holes, uh, in the area of the holes. So let's go ahead and start loading this up with some 3M. Now we've got all of our 3M tape on here. We're gonna go ahead and pull this all off. And this is gonna be the moment of truth here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and pull this off and get it set on the car. And then we'll start drilling our holes and do the rivets. So let's go ahead and just make sure last minute this is on the piece. And we're gonna go ahead and pull these pieces off. And we're gonna go ahead and get this set on the car.
All right. All right, let's go ahead and get this on. All right, we've got it nice and mocked up. Looks like it's on there nice and tight. Now, all right, let me show you guys. All right, so now we've got it on, 3M tape is stuck. Now we're gonna drill our holes and get the rivets in so it stays on. Drill some holes. Rivets in. Let's give her the old rivet. Alright, so we got it in, we got the rivet in. Now we just gotta go ahead and break the rivet off. Alright, one rivet in. I don't remember how many we were gonna do, so let's go ahead and do the next one. So, it is on, you can see the two rivets on the bottom and then the rivets right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little experimentation. Now, I am too lazy to get black rivets, so I have a Sharpie here. And what I did on the underside of the Fujimura is I blacked them out with a Sharpie. Now, I'll probably end up painting them eventually, but we're gonna go ahead and test this out on the bottom ones and see how it goes. So let's just see what the bottom ones look like. If they don't look all that hot, what I'll do is I will go ahead and just not do the top ones and leave them silver, even though, or I'll end up painting them black with some actual paint. So. I don't know, let's step back and look at it and we can give it an assessment. Let's see, what do we got? I don't think it looks that bad with the rivets. I don't know, what do you guys think? Get some light in here so you guys can see. I don't think it looks horrible with the rivets, but we might, we might need to black them out, I think. Um, I guess I could go ahead and sharpie and let's see if it actually looks somewhat okay. So let's do that. Let's see if I can hold the camera and do it at the same time. So you guys can see the same time I'm doing it. And we'll end up painting these eventually. Black. Oops. All right. So obviously it's a little shiny, but it definitely doesn't stand out as much. I don't know if you guys can still see here. All right, let's do this one. You wanna go slow to keep the black pretty heavy. Because the faster you go, the lighter it looks on silver. 
So that doesn't look too bad. I don't know if he... Right, guys that is on we got the carbon fiber attain ksp piece on we actually blacked out the rivets um, it actually looks pretty good on the back of the car it adds to the accents with the wing we will end up getting some uh, acrylic paint and actually painting over them correctly but for now the sharpie will do its job until we can actually take the car in um, and we get the Mishimoto radiator and hoses and the GK Tech fan in. I also took off the cooling plate. And the reason that I took off the cooling plate is all the air conditioning uh, stuff is in the front part here. And we are going to retrofit this car to R134A gas. That way I don't have to worry about the R12, which is now illegal and you can't have it. So we're going to go ahead and retrofit this so the actual car blows somewhat cold because it definitely doesn't blow cold now. So we're going to go ahead and do that while it's at the shop. And then while it's at the shop, hopefully once the radiator and everything gets in, we're able to start the car. Air, you know, fingers crossed that we didn't blow a head gasket or anything when it overheated, which I don't think we did. Um, but once we get the car started and up, then we will put the exhaust system stuff in and we will go ahead and get that installed so then we can have a nice sounding RB26 R32 GTR. We've got a couple other things. Obviously, I think we'll do a full-blown video when we put the Mishimoto in. Um, I'll go over to the shop. Normally, I would do it myself, um, but they have to do a few other things, like I said, with the AC, so I might as well just have them put the Mishimoto in and the new, uh, the new hoses and new everything. So I'm gonna let them do it, but we've still got a couple things. Obviously, we need to reinstall the cooling plate, the stays for the radiator, the new radiator. Uh, and then we've got this big banner that we might put on um, and we've got a couple other things. So uh, right now, like I said, the car is down, unfortunately, until we can somewhat get the, um, the issues diagnosed with the radiator and everything else. But we got that installed today. Right there, looks pretty good. We also got our brand new plate. This car is ready to rock and roll in uh, in the state of Arizona. So we got our plates over 9,000. If you guys don't know, you know, better check yourself. So yeah, guys, if you guys are enjoying this content, I know this wasn't a crazy install video, but if you guys are enjoying the content on this car, please smash the like and subscribe. We also have more projects coming. Uh, we were actually just looking at cars today for a puzzle project. Um, so we could have some more stuff in route soon. So not just the R32, not just the R34 for my dad, but we also are gonna have some other stuff that we're working on that I'm hoping you guys will enjoy and it'll be fun. So if you guys like the content, please, please, please hit the subscribe, please hit the like, throw some comments in the bottom, tell me that I suck, tell me that I'm awesome, I don't care. I just wanna see that you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, with that guys, I'll see you next time.